15 minutes or so, let me just run through with you the product introduction for the beam forming microphone, which is the MS A100. So a little bit of background for the MS um, A100 and how this product came about. As you know, we are primarily focusing on video. So we do a lot of uh, video, video like panels, we do projectors. But at the same time, sound is also a very important element. Um, especially in the education sector, like in lectures or even in seminars. So how this product came about is because when we talk to our users, um, many a times the customers will also share with us some of the issues that they face with regards to sound. And if you look at the screen now, you can see the viewpoints from um, three different aspects. The instructor, which is mainly the lecturer or the speaker, the student's point of view, as well as the AV technician and staff point of view. So you can see that what are the issues that the customers are facing. Basically from the lecturer and the presenter's point of view, many a times they are using handheld microphone. They also will be using um, body pack. Um, but this actually restricts the movement <coughs> of the presenter and the um, lecturer. So these are some of the constraints. And for some of the setup which are using the gooseneck mic, which is mainly on the rostrum, this will restrict the position and where the presenter has to stand. From the student's viewpoint, some of them, they could not hear the lecture carefully, uh, for, especially for those students who are sitting way behind, for instructors or lecturers who do not use microphones. So this will be some of the limitations during lectures. And from the AV technician who are assisting in all these kind of um, areas, their point of view would be the, it's very difficult for them to manage the microphones, which requires batteries, and they have to deal with malfunctions or loss of handheld microphones. So the solution that Sony has came up for in re regards to the audio portion is a no more wireless microphone and no more battery management solution. And what are we talking about here is the beam forming microphone, the MAS A100, which basically would be installed above the lecturer, um, depending on the size of the room and the positioning of where the lecturer wants to move, we would be able to calculate the number of projectors, uh, sorry, the number of IP microphones that is um, required um, to be set up in the room. So after this, I will also be sharing with you um, the calculator that is available online for you to do a simple calculation. Okay. So this is the customer value um, as well as the key selling point that we can talk to our customers for the IP microphone. Firstly, presenters can host a really hands-free smart lectures without having to hold on to the handheld microphone or even using a gooseneck microphone. The lecturers, the students will be able to hear clearly um, because the microphone can allow the sound to be reinforced and allow students who are sitting behind to hear the lectures clearly. The microphones are easy to manage and install with only one cable that can do the POE as well as the Dante with a one single um, CAT5 cable. So this, um, in terms of managing cable management and installation, this is pretty much um, easy um, for the AV technician to manage as well. Okay, the microphone has a dual output channel with the NT for the main um, speech reinforcement as well as recording. So if you look at the screen over here, there is there are two channel outputs um, that you can see. So one, is the main channel for speech reinforcement which um, covers approximately three meters in radius so if you look at the screen over here the the darker blue area um, is where the speech reinforcement will happen for the main channel and reinforcement to happen on the actual location and for recording the recording channel can go up to approximately 7 meters in radius and this is where the recording can happen. So the microphone has two output channels and the recording can go to a lecture capture or it can go to any system which the customers already has for the audio capturing. Okay, so some of the key features for the IP microphone. Um, firstly is the technology of using a hands-free 
a real hands-free. So you can see over here, um, in a typical setup where you have a microphone and a speaker, there will be some feedback that is happening um, because this is using a normal microphone. So if you look at the right side of the screen, you can see the MS A100 um, installed at the ceiling over here. And what this microphone can do is we know that in a typical classroom setup, there will be some stationary noise. For example, noise coming from the aircon. We, we also know that there will be some feedback noise coming from the speaker in case of the placement of the speaker is not done properly. But the beamforming microphone is able to reduce the stationary noise as well as the feedback noise and reinforce the speech sound um, that is being captured by the microphone. So this is something that the beamforming technology is able to do. Uh, in order to allow the students or the audience to have a good um, experience with the audio. Okay, this is the MES M1, which is the software that is used to manage the microphone that's being installed. And this is free to download on our website. What this um, software can do is the, during the initial setting and the calibration, this is necessary. So we have also actually informed all sales company to please download this MES M1 software before the webex today. I hope um, all members have already done that. And later, there will be a session on this um, software on how to use and um, what are those things that you can control and set within the um, software. The microphone allows you to auto, also auto-calibrate um, upon the first initial installation and first setup. So what it does is um, the speech reinforcement can be auto-calibrated. There will be a test signal that's being generated and there will be some um, test signals from the um, speakers that is being installed and this we will be able to do it um, for the first time installation not all the time when you use the project uh, use the IP microphone but the first initial setup from the IP microphone itself you would able be able to see the status of the microphone whether it is active whether it's on the mute um, setup or whether it's on the standby mode so this is something that you can see from the LED um, on the IP microphone and at the same time, you would also be able to use third party to control the IP mm. microphone. In the event, for example, the current the customer has a current setup that is using Crestron, Xtron, or AMX, and that with that, we they can also use their current control system to control the IP microphone. Okay, in terms of integration, um, what you see here is uh, two types of integration. One is the digital setup and one is the analog setup. On the left here is the digital setup. Of course, this is definitely an easier way to set it up. Uh, we have the IP microphone over here, which goes through the PoE hub to the DSP, the digital sound processor. And we have two channels out. One is for the recording and one is for the main. This IP microphone also allows you to do an analog setup in the event that customers existingly only has an analog setup, but they would like to change the microphone. This is also possible. The IP microphone will go through, similarly, the PoE hub will go through a converter, which will convert the Dante to analog and will go through the mixer or the DSP. In terms of the different applications, we have split it into three different kinds of setup, basically small classroom, medium, as well as a large setup. So first, what you see here is a small classroom, um, probably one IP microphone. And as you know, now we are trying to sell on a total solution with the total pro all the products that uh, we have. So this kind of setup can also include a pan -tube zoom camera, as well as a projector for a small classroom setup. For a medium classroom, we will probably need about two IP microphones. Of course, this will be determined after you do the calculation using the software online. And we can have an installation projector as well as a lecture capture system to do um, lecture capturing of the audio as well as the video. For large setup with uh, Pentezoom camera and EA, uh, H analytic appliances, as well as the IP mic together as a total solution. 
Okay, so as a summary for the product brief product introduction, uh, we talk about the key target audience, which is mainly the education sector. We talk about the application, which is the speech reinforcement as well as the enhancement. And we also talk about the, the values that we can provide to our customers, as well as the key selling point of the IP microphone. Okay. So next, I will be passing on.